Hi, and welcome to the digital job site where the boards are straight, the weather's great, and there really is a board stretcher. This video clip is going to show a tour of this model you're looking at. It'll be the video segment of a blog post at the digital job site at findhomebuilding.com titled A Step Ahead to Build a Shed. And for that video series, I created this shed model that you're looking at and rather than discuss a lot about how to actually model the, uh, the shed in SketchUp, I wanted to talk more about uh, some of the layout and, and carpentry aspects of, of building this. And as you can see, this shed uh, is pretty basic. It's uh, eight feet square, and part of the idea was to create a shed that could be covered with uh, four by nine sheets of uh, plywood siding in some parts of the country that's called T111. It's a fur siding, channel groove siding. And to make that siding work as the, the siding for the shed as well as the sheathing for it, it was important to get the layout such that the seams of the plywood of uh, plywood siding would work and uh, not be any waste and extra materials as far as studs go or rips of siding. This, the principles that you'll see in this tutorial series will should be adaptable to uh, bigger shed projects, different configurations, but kind of give an idea of some of the things to think about in the layout and construction of such a model. This model, I put in a dynamic component window, which you can see using this little dynamic component finger operates the window to open and close. And adds a little bit of a presentation value to the model. And the door itself is, is a regular it's a component that I built for the model, but it's not dynamic. It doesn't open and close. I didn't put a doorknob in it. But using the layers function of SketchUp and turning off various parts of this model, you can kind of see the framing, how the framing was done. I'll discuss layout of the framing. I'm going to shut off the trim boards here and look at the framing. If I turn off the subfloor, you can see the joists underneath. If I turn off the decorations layer and get rid of this sod and sang, um, you can see that the idea of this shed is to build it on a couple uh, four by four sleepers or runners uh, as more or less a foundation. And the uh, building of this was was very basic just using two by four two by six no special uh, layout other than to get the siding uh, material to fall on layout and uh, let's see what else basically two by four construction and on the roof if we turn off <coughs> excuse me the shingles and the ridge cap ice and water shield or tar paper and the roof sheathing. By turning off those layers can see the typical construction of this and because this the shed is relatively small in width or span uh, I'm not incorporating a ceiling tie a ceiling joist or color tie in this situation but instead of relying on the strength of a of a 2 by 6 ridge to carry the strength of the structure. But as I said in the, in the beginning, the idea is to kind of go through processes and steps, some of the thinking behind layout for a shed like this, and then cover it in a, from a point of view of carpentry more than SketchUp modeling. You'll get a little bit, you'll get a little bit of SketchUp modeling in it uh, just by uh, virtue of the the process of describing the video, but 
mostly this will be concentrating on the the various pieces parts that it takes it would take to build a shed like this so with that short introduction to the model I'll uh, cut this video off here and the next video in the series in this blog post will will show going through building the the floor system for this eight roughly eight foot square shed model so I hope you'll stay tuned for that and Feel free to comment as the tutorial goes along so that I can uh, fill in information that I might have missed, questions that might be raised, and uh, to help work through the building process for a shed such as this. Thanks for watching.